Hi, I'm Mike Vandell from Emerson Swan, and we're here today uh, with Mark Lundquist from Burn Boiler, Eric Grant from Fernox, um, to work on a system uh, that we discovered after a very short period of the initial installation on a brand new uh, heating system install, uh, that we had a situation where pipe dope that we had used to use as a thread sealant on all the piping um, was starting to break off, harden, and work its way through the system. We became uh, ex uh, very concerned uh, due to the type of uh, boilers that we're working with, with Gianoni style heat exchange, which has very small passageways. The boiler manufacturer, Mark, uh, uh, was concerned that we were going to have a clogging of those heat exchanges, which would reduce the flow, therefore prematurely uh, degrade the performance and the life uh, span of his boilers. Uh, we also had situations where they were beginning to clog up the impellers on the pumps uh, and Taco was very concerned with what was going on to try to figure out what was happening, why their impellers and their flow rates were becoming uh, greatly reduced. So we brought in Eric Grant uh, to take a look at the system, kind of give us his recommendation on what we think is, we can do to help solve the problem. And we're going to actually install a power flushing mechanism that will induce a high pressure flush through the system to help remove any of the debris that's floating around, the remaining debris that's floating around the system, and make sure that our heat exchanges and circulators will actually work to their fullest performance. So what we're going to do today is we brought in our Part 3 fire flushing machine. We're going to connect that to the system. We're going to use our DS40 system cleaner. And what we're hoping to do is that's going to go through that system in a nice closed loop, bringing it back with our DS40. It's going to circulate it around. We're going to hope to remove uh, most of that debris out of the system. One of the things that we were concerned with is after we found some of this material, as in all these Giovanoni tight heat exchanges, is the sediment, when in this case the pipe dope compound is breaking down, we're concerned on the water side that we may start to plug a heat exchanger, and if we don't get the proper flow, then there might be a heat exchanger failure, and we don't want that to happen further down the road. Uh, so that's why we asked these people to come in, do their flushing, and do a treatment, so that we're assured that not only the fire side is correct, but also that the water side is correct and clean. Okay. I'm here with Dan from uh, Muse Mechanical. Uh, he's the contractor on the job. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect our Fernox Mark III power flushing machine into the system. And now the way that the power flushing machine works is you'll have one hose going into your supply, one hose going into your return, and the pump itself is actually going to cause a circulator. Um, today we're actually going to be using this DS40 system cleaner. Uh, you can actually use this on systems that are younger than seven years. And then a system like this is relatively new. It's a citric acid based cleaner. So what it's going to do, it's a little bit stronger than a normal cleaner, which would be F3. Now the F3 is what you would use in a system that's older than 10 years, trying to get all that magnetite, all that loose debris that's floating around in the system. So we're going to take the flush cart and we're going to feed it from there to our air scoop. And this can be our feed through all the lines. This is all the mains. And it's going to return back. And we're going to put it on to each, each boiler has a separate return isolation valve. So we're going to hook it up to draw it off on each boiler and flush out each boiler separately. Okay, this is our power flushing filter. And now what this is, this is a magnet that connects to our power flushing machine. Uh, basically works on magnetic force pulling the iron oxide out of the system. Uh, this system here that we're working with is about four or five months old. We're going to go through and we're going to clean it. And we're going to pull out any kind of an oxide to build up. Now, mainly works on this magnet here. So, it's a very strong magnet, so it'll grab pretty much all the particulate coming through that system. Okay, now we're going to add our DS40 to the power flushing machine. You want to add the DS40 to warm water so that it dissolves correctly. So, what we're doing right now, uh, we have the machine on, it's hooked up. Uh, we have our valves open. Uh, due to the size of the system, we have our outlet valve wide open. And we're trying to regulate our incoming water to keep the line right in the middle where it's supposed to be. Now, this will continue to circulate for a while. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but right now, the water's red. In other words, the DS40 is dissolved, and the acid still acts. So, after about maybe a half an hour or so, it might turn to a yellowish color. That means that your acid is used up. Um, 
checking the water to see if the color is reddish or if it turned to a light tan, which it turned to a light tan after 15 minutes, so we're going to have a little more DS40. So we just drained a little water out of the system, and this is what we came up with. And that's why we are adding DS40. Okay, we finished our cleaning with the DS40. Now we're going to add our system neutralizer to neutralize the DS40. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're circulating around the system neutralizer. Uh, we'll do that for about 10 to 15 minutes to make sure we get all the DS40 uh, neutralized. And what'll happen is if there's any pinkish color left, it'll turn yellow. And that means it's safe to actually dump down the drain. All right, what we have now is we're getting towards the end. If you look down here, you can see the dirty water is being pumped out of the system compared to just the regular hose that's empty. So you can actually see the debris being flushed out of the system. We've isolated the boiler, the heat exchanger. So all we're going to do is run the DS40 over the heat exchanger and remove any debris from there. Thank you. 